Hey there YouTube, it's Josh with Booster Bander here. Today we're gonna open up a pretty sweet collection of cards. We're opening Legendary Collection 3 Yugi's World. Uh, it's a bit of an older set, uh, probably from like I think a year or two ago, uh, but we were able to pick some up at our Walmart, uh, not too far away. Uh, it's retailed to about $30, but right now online you can find it for a bit more. Um, so basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna crack this open, we're gonna get the packs open, and then we'll tell you how much we earned in terms of total cost of the cards and then we'll go ahead and talk about whether or not it's worth it so let's cut the sucker open and with me i have jared the executive producer don't say hi jared and let's see here we got the promo stuff we got the five packs and of course you get this pretty sweet hard surface play mat which we will be using to open the cards up. You got Yugi there. Pretty cool if you like cheaters, because he cheats at everything he plays. Um, so let's go ahead and open up the pack. So the money cards that we're going to be looking here for here, um, Raigeki is going to be a big one, Dark Magician Girl, Dark Paladin. Um, you're going to probably make your money off of these cards alone. A lot of the classic cards are sought after by collectors. Um, and these are reprinted uh, in like a lot of different rarities, like Ultra and Secret. So we'll go ahead and open up the first one. And looks like we got Stray Lambs. We'll bring it up closer here. Green Baboon, Defender of the Forest. DD Assailant, Upstart Goblin. Pretty cool card. Ooh, there you go. The Dark Magician, Yugi's Ace card. Magic Cylinder. The Dark Hex Sealed Fusion. Level up, Arm Dragon 3. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get these taken out here. Alright, pack. Come on. Sometimes it can just be so finicky. Okay. Alright, Giant Soldier of Stone. Silent Swordsman, level 5. Malice, Doll of Demise. Bottomless Trap Hole, that's a great reprint. Flying Kamakiri number one, that kind of sucks. And Whitehorn Dragon. Separate these for you guys so that you can see them. Okay, Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Silent Magician level 8. Alpha, the Magnet Warrior. Toon World. Cannon, the Sword Mistress. What the heck? Machina Sniper. And Fusion Wave Motion. Emissary of the Afterlife. And level up. So, kind of a mad pack there again. It's okay. Not bad. Okay. <clears throat> Next up. Guardian Trice. Draining Shield. Another DD Assailant. Fire Princess. Compulsory Evacuation Device. And Raigeki Break. Oh, what a tease. Not the, not the Raigeki we want. And for our last pack. We have Union Attack, Man Eater Bug, Guardian Trice, The Dark Door, Stronghold, The Moving Fortress, Kaiku, The Ghost Destroyer, and Mystical Shine Ball. Yeah, mediocre. Okay. Uh, Tricky Spell 4 and Beta, Magic Warrior are the last two, if you guys care about that. So, we're gonna kind of get all this situated. So we'll run back what our pulls were and then we'll hit you with the total how much money we made and talk about whether or not it was worth it and lastly let's go over our promos actually before we do that so 
So this yield of Orichalcos, 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 I don't know how you say it. Dark Necrofear, Guardian Etos, five Headed Dragon, and then your three tokens, little cute Karibo tokens. Okay. So we'll cut and we'll be right back. Thank mm -hmm. you. 